Hey guys, we finally got the blank gun. It came in. And uh, the first thing I did was, of course, take it right to the airport so that I could uh, talk to the mechanics and the technicians about it. And uh, we decided we wanted to do a muzzle break. So my friend Nigel, who's a really great technician, really cool guy, he took it home and he fiddled around with it. And uh, he came up with a couple of little muzzle brakes, you know, that we can just test fire or whatever. And I was going to test fire tonight. I so was. But it's like 10 o'clock and I'm here in the studio by myself and it's private and gated over here. And I'm just, I'm not feeling it because I don't want to wind up making the front page of the live leak for the wrong reasons. So anyway, I'm going to give you a couple of pictures to uh, pick from. We had Olga come in and fire uh, the weapon for the other weapon that we, that we built for David's video. And it was done with compressed gas and it looks really good and it's cool. You know, we did it um, face forward, you know, just from a, a, uh, uh, a tripod, you know, so it's, you know, it's so cheesy. We want to do something really unique with this shot. The girl's going to fire it in a, in a moon, you know, shape. She's going to fire as quickly as she can at the floor while she's sitting on a table and the, the robot is on the floor that's trying to get her and she's trying to kill it and it goes by quickly. So she's going to give him a barrage as quickly as she can from this little gun she draws from her boot. Needless to say, we would like a really nice muzzle flash to come out of this. And we really don't know that much about muzzle brakes and what they do and why they do it. But it has to look really cool. So we bought another gun that looks a lot like it that's just made out of plastic. And I'm going to doctor it up to look really cool. So you guys have to choose between a couple of things. What muzzle brake really is going to work best and what's going to look good on film. And it, remember, it's a 90 degree shot. We're going to film straight down on this girl on a table and she's going to fan her arm. So we're going to get at least four, maybe five good blasts, you know, as quickly as she can fire, maybe even see the shells eject from it. So we did actually test fire and it really does fire like a real gun. But like I said, it's, it's probably not safe for me to do that in the middle of the night by myself here. So anyway, you guys can look at the pictures and get an idea. We can mock up the fake one that's plastic to look really cool for when she retrieves it out of her boot and points it around the room. That's cool. And it's plastic. So it's safe. Safety first. Everybody's going to wear safety glasses you know ear protection we're going to take every precaution known to man so anyway when the girl really fires it what's the best muzzle brake let's talk about muzzle brakes and thanks a lot guys oh and by the way um olga's a really really nice girl and if you guys give her a ration of shit like you did our last model you're just you're gonna get banned you know whatever we're gonna block you and that's it you know if you want to talk to me i really don't care because i really couldn't give a shit but i don't want you guys running off another one of our models so be warned you know if you're gonna talk trash to our model you know on saturday when she comes in and shoots and i post it up that's it you're done so anyway let's talk about muzzle brakes bye